Okay. So here we go. Um, this is called the ultimate guide to the festive season. Um, we're going to be going over how to prepare your shop, some seasonal marketing strategies, customer service, um, trends, what are some best sellers, and then really go like a deep dive into each category on Etsy and talk about trends in each category. So in the beginning, we're going to go over like a quick review. I'm going to go kind of fast because I really want to make sure that we have enough time to talk about trends. Um, from what I saw on the chat, a lot of you already have Etsy shops. Um, you've got your listings. They looked good. So let's talk about how we can you know, increase our sales. A lot of you on this workshop did not look like completely new sellers. If there's something you don't understand that I talked about, use the chat, ask a question. Um, I will see that and then we'll get to your questions. Okay, so um, I am Nicole. I am the owner of Partying with Plants. Um, I started my Etsy shop in 2016. In um, 2019, I started teaching these Etsy U classes. So every year they kind of change up the classes with new information. Um, Etsy is now my full-time job. It, it wasn't in 2016. It took me a couple of years to get there. Um, if you want Etsy to be your full-time job, um, it's absolutely possible. Um, this, my favorite Etsy U workshop to teach is the SEO class. Um, I noticed a couple of you, um, have been to that class. I could saw from the signups. So if you haven't been to the SEO workshop that Etsy U has, it's an awesome class. So definitely check that one out. Okay. We are going to go through your inventory. We're going to talk about keywords videos and photos, and then your shipping and your shop policies first. So as you're getting your shop ready for the holiday season, um, having your inventory ready is really important. So I love this third paragraph. It says, consider building a ready to dispatch inventory to appeal to shoppers looking to receive their orders quickly. So this is something, think about items that you have that are already made, can ship fast. Those are the items that you really want to um, make sure that they're ready to go. The keywords are great. Maybe you're running an ad um, or a campaign around those items. They're ready to ship fast. Right. Keywords. Um, with millions of people around the world shopping online, it's important that your listings are optimized for search. Refining your titles, your tags, your item descriptions is one of the most important things that you can do for your shop. So we're going to talk about um, some things that you can do. This is where that Etsy SEO class is so important. Okay, that's all we talk about is um, your listing quality score. So tip number one, approach your listing from the shopper's perspective. Shoppers are looking for gifts by type, price, and recipient, or some combination of all those three. So to capture their attention with your listings, you want to emphasize why your item makes a great gift. Consider updating your titles and tags to reflect seasonal trends and search terms when relevant. So if you sell small Christmas gifts, you want to use keywords like stocking stuffer or stocking filler. Those are two great keywords, stocking stuffer or stocking filler. Um, are your items seasonal decor? If they're a seasonal decor item, you should be using um, Christmas decor, 
Hanukkah decor, Christmas ornament, those type of keywords okay, to describe your listing. If someone is shopping for themselves, it's different when shopping for a gift recipient. They're going to use different keywords. So think of it from that perspective. They're shopping for somebody else. So what keywords would they be using to search for your item? Lead with the most relevant and seasonally appropriate keywords and phrases. This is when it comes to your titles. When someone searches on Etsy, the system scans your titles and tags for matches. Imagine what buyers would type into the search to find your items and use those words or phrases. Um, bio behavior suggests that shoppers use descriptive terms when searching the site. So some festive words that they may be using is gift for stepmom, teacher Christmas present, Christmas tablescape, Thanksgiving host gift. Okay. So these are all great um, four little phrases that Etsy has given us. If you're, if this helps describe your listing, um, this may be something that you want to use in your title or tag. Okay. So Etsy search can read each phrase in your title if you use a comma. So every time you have a phrase in your title, separate each little phrase with a comma. Um, Etsy's been very clear with our sellers that they prefer commas. It's how the search algorithm works best. So let's say that you sell um, like a canvas tote bag. Um, you want to use the phrase canvas tote bag instead of just using bag or just using tote bag think about that descriptive phrase okay all right tip number three add relevant categories and attributes to help shoppers find your item when shopping it's important to select accurate categories or a subcategory. Based on which category you choose, you'll be able to add more attributes for your items, such as the size, color. Um, when you're using categories and attributes, really, really important. Category refers to what an item is. Category equals what the item is not what it is used for or made of so a christmas tree necklace can use the attribute christmas because it's actually a necklace of a christmas tree but if you just have just a normal gold necklace that makes a great christmas gift that is not appropriate to use Christmas as the category. Okay. You, some people think that that's going to help their listing or their item get found better. And no, it, it's going to hurt. Okay. So remember, only use the category. Some sellers don't actually use categories or don't break their item down by category or attribute. And that's okay. For category... It describes what an item is, not what an item is used for. Okay. Okay. Write enticing listing descriptions with SEO in mind. So SEO means search engine optimization. So it's essential to need to know info should go at the top of your description that helps clarify any aspects that aren't immediately clear in your listing photos. Um, Etsy search, so that algorithm, how Etsy 
categorizes all of our listings and determines what buyers see that Etsy search can scan descriptions for search ranking purposes and search engines like Google are going to look at them as well. So what you put in your description is really important as to how it is getting shown by potential buyers. Um, number five, think globally. Um, Etsy automatically translates your listings into your customer's preferred language. But there are a few things you can do to optimize that experience. Um, double check that your default shop language matches the language that you use when you posting and listing everything. Keep in mind that the names of certain items vary by location. So in the United States, we say sweater, um, but in other locations, they may call it a jumper or a pullover. Okay. So something to think about. Since sizes aren't translated, it's best to, to supply measurements in both metric and imperial units. Okay. If you are willing and if you accept like international orders. Finding the right keyword takes time. Don't forget to periodically check your shop stats to identify which keywords draw the most views to your shop, especially when you're experimenting and adding those seasonal words. Keep an eye and see you know, what's working and what's not. If some of your keywords are not attracting views, swap them out for new ones. All right, so this was a little um, activity slide that Etsy gave where they said that we can kind of come up with some titles um, for these um, listings. So you've got a mug, you've got a rainbow planter, and you have some dinosaur necklaces. Um, so if anybody wants to use the chat and pick one of those items and come up with um, a title, um, feel free. Um, remember, you want to use descriptive titles um, in the beginning. So for the, um, oh, good. So somebody said handmade ceramic mug, rainbow plant holder, neutral handmade mug. Good. Fun oh. dino jewelry. Yeah, great. Awesome. So one, um, this is so good because it, it kind of reminds me that um, I see a lot on Etsy that people use the word handmade. Um, and there was another one that I wrote down. High quality. Um, the keywords handmade and high quality um, is sometimes overused on Etsy. Because you have to remember when a buyer is coming to Etsy, they know that it's a different shopping experience as compared to going to like an Amazon or a Wayfair. Everything on Etsy is handmade. So you want to be really cautious on overusing the word handmade in your listing title. Um, and especially like the word high quality, um, something a lot of people do use the word um, personalized or customized. That's okay. That Those are some good keywords to use. Um, these are all great um, descriptive phrases that people have put in the chat. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so video and photos. Etsy's listing vote video option lets you really show off what makes your product special. We might, we might recommend you upload videos to the listings that get the most traffic. Um, be sure to add 10 photos to each of your listings. It'll okay, really highlight it. Um, I was looking through a lot of your shops of those that kind of were sharing their links. Um, if you need 
another photo. Some of you did not have all 10 of your photos kind of used up. Um, think about showing off a photo of how your item is packaged. Right now with holiday season, it's so important to show off how that item potentially is gift wrapped. So if somebody wants to buy your item and send it to the recipient, showing how it's actually packaged, maybe you just wrap it up in tissue paper with a bow. Maybe you box it in a, you know, a cute little box and then you put a bow on it. Um, showing off a picture like that really helps. It's highly recommended. Um, yeah, digital items. Good, um, good question came up. What about digital items? Yeah, it's really hard to show off um, videos with digital items. Um, same thing with packaging. Um, so yeah, that's not something that a lot of digital products, the digital sellers can do. Um, increase your visibility with Explore. Um, this is a really cool new um, function. So with Explore, customers um, you, or sellers, you can create and upload your video post that will be featured in a feed in its own tab in the Etsy shopping app. So it's a great way for buyers to discover new items. Explore videos can include sound and can be anywhere from two seconds to three minutes long. This gives you space to connect with shoppers and tell your story. Whether you're recording videos of yourself or your products, personality is key. Um, if you haven't checked out this function yet, go to the Etsy sell app. I mean, the bio app, like you're gonna buy something. Down at the bottom, um, it's gonna say shop, explore favorites updates um, so if you you can click on explore and then um, it's just kind of like um, the instagram feed the youtube feed you know all the quick little videos that come up okay so to find explore go to the etsy um, app like you were going to be a customer so that orange Etsy app, like you are going to buy something. Once you click on that, down at the very bottom will be the explore tab. You do have to be, um, there was some stipulations. The explore feature is only available who for sellers who are English speaking um, and in the US. Um, so this is something new that just came out. Um, you can showcase your packaging process. Um, Etsy says to show your products in use and you can address common questions too. Okay, so really cool new feature. All right, um, let's see. Delivery, um, as we head into the Christmas season, make sure you keep your processing times up to date especially before your shop gets busy. Um, add delivery company mail class. So if you use the post office or whatever you use, because Etsy is going to use whatever shipping um, class that you enter to tell your customer when their expected delivery date is. Okay. Really important to make sure that your processing times are accurate. You can change this on the fly too. If you start to get a lot of orders um, and you need more time, just go in, go to your shop settings, change your processing times really quick and it's gonna automatically update. Um, I like to share that um, two holiday seasons ago, um, my shop just kind of blew up and I did not, I was not getting orders processed out on time. So I had so many orders that like my processing time was one day and it came to be that I had a lot of orders that were past due. So some were like one day past due, some were two or three days past due and I was trying to get them caught up. 
because I had so many past due orders, I actually got a notification from Etsy that they put my shop on vacation until I got caught up. Total surprise to me, it was my fault. I should have went in, updated it because um, I wasn't committing to those bios that I was getting the item out on time. So once I got all my past due orders caught up, then my shop was reopened back up. So I hurt myself by not accurately updating my processing time. So just keep that in mind. If you need to set it to one to three days just to have that cushion, but you get it out early, it's better than having your shop. Um, you know, you don't want your shop getting put on vacation because you are running behind. Okay, your shop policies. Um, make sure you keep your processing times up to date. Make sure your shop policies and your return policy is clear. Add all that to your shop. Make sure it's up to date. Okay, so make the most out of an increase in traffic that's coming to Etsy. Um, more shoppers have discovered Etsy recently. Um, in, um, let's see, 13 million new shoppers joined from October to December 2020. 20, 20, 20. That's a 76.7 7, increase year over year. So the best part is Etsy does have a great customer base that constantly returns. Right? There was a 205% increase in return, return buyers on Etsy during the first three months of the year. Increased traffic to Etsy and repeat shoppers means more potential sales for all of us. So here's some tips and things you can do. Share your latest listings using Etsy's social media tool, right from your shop, right from your settings under the marketing tab. Start an Etsy ad campaign or increase your ad budget. Um, Etsy's data shows that sellers who typically respond to messages within 24 hours are more likely to receive a five-star review. Connecting with a creator or curator makes shopping on Etsy extra special. Um, include a handwritten note on your orders to say thanks. Okay. Um, encourage shoppers to add more to their basket by offering free shipping on orders $35 or more in the U.S. Um, every customer that buys something from my shop gets a little um, postcard with their order. It actually has a picture of me with a little short paragraph about why I started my Etsy shop um, with my link so that they can come back and shop for more. Um, so it's just I want customers to feel like they're connecting and, you know, thanking them for supporting um, my small business. Okay. Um, one thing, too, don't forget if you're highlighting and showing off your items on social media, um, use the at Etsy tag. So tag all your posts with at Etsy. So people that are searching for, you know, cool or unique Etsy products will find your listings. Okay, so let's talk about seasonal marketing strategies. We're going to go through some social media trends ad campaigns, coupons and sales, more about Explore, because I saw a lot of you are posting um, some good questions. Okay, so let's talk about some marketing tips. Um, while there are definitely a lot of do's and don'ts, there's no one size fits all approach. Instead, every Etsy seller embarks on their own journey, developing plans that match their brands and their products, okay? For social media, um, these are some tips to keep in mind. Consider sharing photos of your items in Christmas scenes or with some like winter elements. Look to add relevant hashtags to get discovered. So hashtag Christmas 2022, Christmas gift guide, a great place, great hashtags to use. 
go live. Um, Facebook and Instagram both have great live video features. Use the Instagram Reels or TikTok to share unique content and behind the scene moments. Okay. Some trends. Um, with Christmas approaching, shoppers will be looking to Etsy sellers to make that season feel special. From small updates like tweaking your tags with some new fresh designs, there are several ways that you can optimize your shop. Get inspiration for new fall products through the trend report. We're going to talk a lot about this right coming up. Update your photos with some trendy styling. Include seasonally relevant top search terms in your titles and tags. We're going to talk more about that. Time your inventory to take advantage of that upward trend. So if I mention something that is trending or seeing a high trend here in um, a couple minutes and you sell that item, that may be something that you want to make sure is really ship ready to go. And then choose what listings to promote through the Etsy ads. Okay. So, um, Maybe you're going to pick, you know, five really good listings, run an Etsy ad for those listings that are ship ready to go and are trending. Okay. And use your stats to kind of help determine that too. Okay. So um, one thing that's going to be trending here in um, November is um, that's actually when Christmas decorations um, start peaking here in November. Okay. So one thing to keep in mind. Okay. Ad campaigns. Etsy ads can help make listings more prominent for millions of buyers who are searching. To use Etsy ads, sellers can set a daily budget, run an ad campaign promoting their listings. And Etsy will continually op optimize how the budget is spent over time to boost exposure. So I prefer to only advertise my best selling listings during the holiday seasons. Right. I'm not going to run an ad on everything, only the things that are best sellers, because I really want to boost those up and get even more sales. So consider what items are in demand and what items make good gifts. Okay, communication before you get into the thick of November and December, make sure to assess your production systems and fulfillment. Ensure that your postage returns and final order before Christmas info is clearly communicated in your shop policies. Maybe you want to put a shop announcement right, or any message to buyers. You're going to get a lot of messages in December that's going to ask you, is this guaranteed to arrive by Christmas or by such and such date? I always kind of come up with a message template that, you know, if you start getting a lot of messages in December, you already have a template ready to go. Um, I use the same one every year and I just send that out. You know, thank you for reaching out to my shop. Um, you know, I cannot, after such and such date, I cannot guarantee any delivery. I am not in control of the post office and their delivery processes. Um, I even think I say in there that um, Etsy will calculate your estimated delivery date based on your location to my shop. Um, hope that answers all your questions. I never guarantee anything will arrive in time by a date or by anything. Um, hopefully, um, all the shipping carriers will um, not have delays this year, but um, you know it's probably going to happen. Okay, coupons and sales. Um, feel free to say thanks with a coupon. Sellers can show shoppers how much they appreciate their business and give them an incentive to come back with a thank you coupon. Uh, participating in Etsy sales throughout the coming months can help attract buyers to your shop. Um, everyone loves a discount. Um, there's even a lot of sellers that will raise their price and then put them on sale. Right? You know, however you want to do it. 
If you want to use a thank you coupon, with thank you coupons, um, Etsy sends that to, so if you set your shop that you're going to do thank you coupons, that means automatically Etsy is going to sell, send your customer a thank you sale or coupon 24 hours after you mark that order complete. So after that order is complete and shipped out, even before they get that item, Etsy is going to be sending them a thank you email with a coupon or a sale, getting them to come back to your shop. Okay. Um, you can also go into the coupon and sales um, category of your shop and set for a coupon to be emailed to your shoppers who favorite your item or shop. So anytime somebody favorites your item or shop, they will receive a coupon. So those are some coupons that you can set and Etsy will automatically handle all that for us. Um, Etsy updates feeds. Okay, whether you've just made your first sale or you're an established seller who's been around for years, Etsy updates can help you grow your buyer base and bring buyers back to your shop. It's designed to share notifications about your shop with buyers who have liked or favorited your items. The update feed is based on how many of the actions you're already taking in managing and marketing your shop. Buyers can get the updates feed by locate, locating the bell icon on the Etsy navigation bar or at, on Etsy.com or the app. Um, I don't know about you, but it kind of like, is my pet peeve that whenever my Etsy app, the one that um, I use to shop, whenever it has a little update, like it has one right now, it says two, I have to automatically go in and look at the updates and see what my favorite shops have listed as new um, because I just want to clear that notification of two on my little icon because I like it nice and clear. But it does get me to kind of see the shops that I favorited, what they've posted new. So you never know, you may um, get a sale from a repeat customer that way. Okay, um, so let's talk about Explore. Um, don't forget that with Explore, videos that you create and upload will be featured in a feed in its own tab in the Etsy shopping app as a fun way to help buyers discover your items. Explore videos can include sound, can go anywhere from two to three seconds, two to three minutes long. As you brainstorm new content, think about how you can show off and engage with your customers. It's also helpful to think about telling a story with your videos. Okay, customer service during the festive season. All right, let's talk about communication, buyer expectations, reputation. Um, I see a question coming up. What date have you found delivery problems starting in December? So the, po the USPS and UPS came out and they said um, every year the post office, UPS, FedEx, they come out with dates that say this is the absolute um, date that they say the last date to guarantee something arrives by Christmas. This year in the US, that date is December 17th. That's what the post office has said, December 17th. Um, and UPS's date was right around that too. Um, I usually still never rely on that date. Um, you know, I'll usually, I think I, I'm aiming for like December 13th is going to be my last kind of shipment date for December. So you can go on, um, I even think it's on your Etsy at dashboard. They posted for us the, um, all the shipping deadlines for the carriers. They, um, Etsy does a great job in notifying sellers of that. Or you can go to the post office's website, UPS's website. Um, they post that too. Um, 
Do customers get updates when you make changes to listings? No. So if you just change a listing, you add a new photo, you change the price, that's not going to show up on the updates feed. Um, it's only going to be when you like list a new item that's available, or maybe your item has been sold out and now it's back in stock. Okay. But just adding a picture or changing something is not going to do an update feed. Um, okay. Some good, um, good questions. We're going to, um, keep putting your questions in cause, um, I will get to them more. Okay. Um, building buyer loyalty. Um, this is a great time to uh, capture a customer. Um, you know, adding in a little thank you note, you know, thank you for shopping my small business. You can add in a coupon. So maybe I, I shop on Etsy all the time. And um, there's been times I've bought something where the seller then puts a little coupon in there that says, come back and here's a coupon code. Um, absolutely. You know, do that. Come up with a unique coupon code. So that way you can tell how many customers came back and shopped with you. Um, prioritize clear and timely communication. A quick response can help dispel any hesitation a shopper might have about your business. Answering customers' questions promptly is a great way to enforce trustworthy. Um, I always try to answer those questions within 24 hours. Um, I think of it as it's a great way to close the sale. You know, I have a customer who's right then and there trying to buy. If I can get to it right away, I'm on top of it. Um, and, you know, it does help. I I can tell that I'm able to close and get that sale. Okay. So here is a pro tip. It tells you that you can create those kind of saved replies. Okay. So if you know that you're getting kind of the same type of question, it's really easy to save that reply and just constantly use it. Um, should I update all my keywords to include Christmas gift? Um, so, um, this is okay. So this is a good question that came up. Um, so, okay. Maybe a lot of you are thinking now that you need to go in and change all your titles and add Christmas gift to them. Um, don't over panic. Don't go in and change everything. Think about the items that make a good Christmas gift. But who is that Christmas gift for? Just adding the keyword Christmas gift um, is not descriptive enough. Is it a Christmas gift for your husband, a boyfriend, a man? Is it a Christmas gift for a teenager, a teacher? So maybe you want to add a, a phrase to your title that says gift for her or gift for teacher, um, gift for husband. Okay. So think about that and then add in that one, you know, add in that phrase to your title, definitely some of your tags. But don't panic and just start going adding Christmas gift to all of your titles. Think more strategically of who that gift is for, okay? Oh yeah. Um, a, this great, um, I have used gift under a specific dollar amount too. Thank you for saying that Linda, that's a really popular keyword phrase. Um, I think we actually mentioned it here later on. So some popular phrases is gift under 30 gift under 50, um, gift under a hundred. So that descriptive phrase is also good to use in like a tag. Okay. Cause a lot of people are shopping by dollar amount. Okay. Okay. Prior, there's a lot of good questions coming through. Keep putting them in and I will get to them. Um, prioritize clear and timely communication, um, clear photos, use all 10 of your listing images, include a video if you can. Write clear and informative lifting, listing descriptions. Um, if you also need help about another photo to use, um, you're going to want to show off, 
you know, how your item is packaged. Another great photo to use is if you have a good review, a customer has left you a good review. Um, I take a screenshot of that review, crop out the buyer's name, um, and then use that review as one of my listing images. If I don't have 10 Im images and I want to fill up all those 10, I'm gonna use a review as one of my listing images. If we know customers look at all 10 photos. A lot of the times they don't even read our descriptions, but they look at all the photos. Maybe they're not even scrolling and looking at all of our views, but making them stop and read a good review that you want them to read as one of your photos um, has really um, been helpful for uh, my shop and what I use for a lot of my listings. Um, here, this kind of shows off your um, policy section, making sure you have this up to date. Um, if you have not sat through the Etsy SEO workshop, you have not heard me preach about shop policies and your about section 50 million times. It is so important to have your policy section your about section done. Please, please go make sure you have completed that section. It affects your search ranking. So the Etsy algorithm is looking at shops that have their about section and the shop policy section complete. If those sections are not complete, then you, it's gonna hurt your chances of getting shown high in that search algorithm, okay? Um, do you ask permission to use customer reviews? No, a customer has posted a review of my Etsy listing. That's a public um, review. I just um, crop out their name um from it but no you don't have to they've already posted that review on etsy so it's already public um so no you can share that review um i'll try to show you too at the end i'll show you some um of my listings okay deliver on shoppers expectation processing times include how much time you need to get an order ready um the processing time you list helps set expectation with buyers before purchasing an item. Shorter processing times can increase your sales. Quick delivery is an important factor for shoppers. Um, last year, I was trying to buy those um, hot chocolate bombs that everybody was talking about. And so, um, literally, the, the only reason that I chose the one listing that I chose was because I found one that had the fastest processing time. Um, so that's what I was looking for when I was trying to buy a hot chocolate bomb. So it does make a difference. But be accurate. If it does take you a couple days, you know, that's just what it is. Um, deliver on shoppers' expectations. Um, your Etsy delivery profiles let you add important information like the postcode, the delivery company that you use, the mail class. So if you're shipping something, um, I just bought something from a seller and they said free shipping was priority mail. And it actually came parcel mail, which is super longer than priority. Do not say that you're shipping something priority mail and then you're going to send a parcel. Right? Use the right type of delivery class. Um, based on your listing set processing time, deliv delivery company and postal code, Etsy's going to show shoppers when that estimated delivery date is. You don't want some somebody to get their item really late because you shipped it slower and then they didn't get it by the date that you did and you didn't use the mail class that you committed to using okay don't do that um gift wrapping when festive shoppers are busy 
checking items off the to-do list, having gift, gifts of live already wrapped goes a long way. Um, customers love items that are already gift wrapped. Don't be afraid to charge an additional fee. You can set, you know, what that fee is going to be. Um, there is also an option to add a gift message to the order at no charge. If you want, um, I charge a fee for extra, um, gift wrapping holiday time. Um, so don't be afraid to do that. Okay. Um, established a strong reputation. Um, prioritizing communication and prompt dispatch can increase your likelihood of receiving, receiving positive reviews. Seeing that others had a positive experience with your shop helps new customers feel more comfortable. Surprise and delight with thoughtful touches. Shopping on Etsy is different because each purchase is supporting an individual entrepreneur. Encourage your students to let buyers know how much they appreciate your buyer's business with a handwritten little thank you note. Okay, it goes a long way. Um, it really does. Um, establish a strong reputation with your about page. Tell your shoppers and customers more about you. Okay. Um, establish a good social media presence. Your social media presence can also contribute to your brand and overall reputation. Social media is one of the most effective, low cost promotional tools as a small business. You have to also promote yourself. Um, you can't just list a bunch of stuff on Etsy and then sit back and think that you're going to be a millionaire and all these shoppers are going to come to you. You have to do some of the lay work as well. You've got to promote yourself, get the word out there. Um, so find the social media tool that works best for you. Okay. Prepare for the unexpected. Um, be transparent with your buyers if you can't fulfill an order or meet the processing times. Send them a message. Let them know. Okay. So here's an example of a message that you can send. Um, I wanted to keep you updated on the status of your order. Due to disruptions or potential delivery company delays, there's a chance your package may not arrive on the originally estimated date. Rest assured, I'll keep you updated along the way as I get new information. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. So um, always just kind of be prepared for the unexpected. Um, consider holiday mode. If you need to take a break from accepting new orders, you can put your shop on holiday mode. Okay, it's gonna remove your items from the public view and prevent buyers from making any new purchases. Okay. So just keep in mind that you should fulfill and refund any open orders if you can't get those done. With holiday mode, you can set up an auto reply for any people who send you a message and shoppers can sign up to get a message when you return and when your shop opens back up. You can also customize areas of your shop like your banner or your photo or your announcement that says you're taking a break. Okay, completely okay. Um, if you want to take a break and kind of get caught up, but you don't want to completely remove all your listings from Etsy so they're not seen anymore. So a lot of the times when I need to take a couple days off, instead of putting my shop on holiday mode or vacation mode, I'll just change my processing times. I'll go in and say, it's gonna take me five or seven days to process your order instead of one to two. That way people can still find my shop they're still favorite it. They can still add something to the cart. Maybe they don't care it's going to take seven, five to seven days to process. They don't need it right away so they could still buy. At least I didn't lose all that, um, like all that algorithm, all that search that somebody is finding my shop. Um, because then once you kind of go on vacation mode and once you come off, it's going to take a while for your shop to get seen again. 
So anytime I put my shop, you know, it takes me seven plus days to process orders. My orders do slow down. I definitely notice people don't want to wait. But then as soon as I change it again and it's fast processing, those orders start coming back. But at least I didn't completely shut down. Everybody's different. Okay, let's talk about trends. What is going to sell this holiday season? What can we sell, right? What can we get cha-chings from? I love hearing that cha-ching. So let's talk about timing, trends and bestsellers, um, opportunities by occasion, and then each category, what's trending. All right, so this year, um, Etsy says that buyers are committed to purchasing with intention. These themes related to gratitude, will be key this festive season as people want to celebrate and enjoy time together more than ever. Though many could feel the strain of tighter budgets this season, people want to celebrate and enjoy time together. With Christmas approaching and most shopping happening online, more shoppers will be looking to help make the season feel special. Okay, so here's all the important dates of um, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, um, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. Um, there are uh, Christmas Jumper Day in the UK, um, Winter Solstice. So awesome, Willie. This is a good thing. Take a screenshot um, with your phone of some of these important dates. Um, so some opportunities. Um, Christmas shopping typically begins with decor before shifting shifting to gifting. So Etsy um, actually said that November is when the decor begins. That's when they see the most sales for decor items. Introduce your giftable items early. Keep them on hand through Cyber Week and December to capture early peak last minute shoppers. You can help shoppers make this festive season joyful with personalization, gift wrapping, handwritten notes. Um, I've noticed, I don't know if anybody else has, but I've noticed that I've had a lot of favorites um, the last couple days. The orders have been slowing down just kind of as a trend. I noticed starting in, in August that uh, my sales and my orders really started to decline. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of people are watching their money right now. Um, but I've noticed I've had a lot of favorites, um, either specific listings are getting favorited or the shop. So that's normal. You're going to see that trend now because people are starting to kind of pre-shop, get an idea of what they want. Okay. So if you start to see a lot of favorites, but you're not getting orders, don't panic. Um, that's, that's completely normal. I notice that every year. Oh, good. Somebody else is seeing me too. You're going to notice that. You're going to see a lot of people. You may even, okay, so um, one thing kind of crazy that I like to do. I'm not a lot, but I'll go on like um, my, uh, my husband's laptop or my husband's phone and I'll look at my shop. And only from his view, I can see my page, my shop. And it will tell me like, um, this listing is in five people shopping carts. This listing is in 20 people shopping carts. And so I can see kind of like, oh, these listings are in people's carts. They have it there. They're going to buy it. They're probably just waiting to either they get paid or they really start their holiday Christmas season. Okay, so I can kind of see what's coming. Um, so I'll do that every once in a while. Um, so don't panic. Um, I've talked with a lot of sellers, um, that I just keep in touch with, you know, from other class of these classes that, yeah, everybody is kind of seeing a little dip right now. Um, and that's going to increase as this, as the holiday season comes up. Okay. Um, so, okay. So let's talk about some key themes. Um, expect a few key themes to drive shopping through the season. Focus on creating and embodying these themes. Value. Today's shoppers are looking for longevity when making a purchase. Okay. 
Um, Powell of Punchy Hughes. Etsy anticipates shoppers will continue turning to bold, playful tones of bright for their homes, wardrobes, and moods. Um, a natural charm between refined rustic styles and the evolution of cottage core and the persistent pull of the woodland creatures. There are endless ways to tap into that thriving trend. Re-embrace hosting. Tablescapes are a great way to showcase new items along vintage finds. Frame products as a host gift as well. Um, the key phrase host gifts um, is actually something that always trends starting in um, November as people are looking for gifts. Um, tap into the wellness theme, offering gift sets and self-gifting. Gift sets are unbelievably sell very well. It doesn't matter what you sell, if it's jewelry, candles. Um, I saw some people selling scarves, putting that together with um, a set, okay? Um, consider sustainability. Think about how you can attract environmentally conscious shoppers. Um, if you use recycled materials, um, offering high quality products made to last. Okay, something to think about. Okay, let's talk about best sellers. This is what Etsy is saying is going to be a best seller in 2022. Puzzles, especially kids name puzzles. Candles, personalized name necklaces, small leather accessories, wallets, cozy knits, leisure wear, matching sweatsuits, festive decor, Christmas ornaments, Christmas stockings, um, modern menorahs, wreaths, door decor, welcome mats, all that festive decor. Um, greeting cards, gift boxes and sets. So gift boxes and sets is if you sell like a candle and you put it with also, um, a necklace or a coffee mug. You know, it's that set. Um, I did that a couple of years ago because I just sell succulents and plants. I actually created a kit that was a succulent plus a candle. Okay, so and offered that set and it sold really well. Okay. Um, Christmas Eve boxes for the UK. Stocking fillers, little things that are great fillers. Advent calendars and natural wreaths, wall art, um, pin maps. So if you, um, I, every year, I always buy a new pin map from an Etsy seller, kind of that we kind of just make it fun and keep track of where our sales was um, for the year and kind of see how much we could fill up that map or where you traveled to. Macrame hangs. Um, signs with sayings, personalized name signs, custom and personalized portraits, charcade boards, personalized cutting boards, mugs, and glassware. So this is all the Christmas best sellers. Okay, so kind of think about if your item items fits into these or not. Maybe you can incorporate and add in something related to these best sellers to your shop. Okay, so now let's talk about each category and what is trending. Um, this is my favorite part of year to look at, you know, what has been trending all year, what's going to keep trending. So let's talk about home and living category. Um, we could see a return to more formal gatherings, let's hope, but infused with warmth, coziness. Even as people move towards socializing more out in the world, the home remains a focal point with festive decor, activities, entertaining items. Um, so home and living is, a, um, this is what has increased for that category. There has been a 29% increase in bar wear, 158% increase in emerald green wall art. Huge. 
a 31% increase in vintage coffee sets. So entertaining at home, um, help shop was create an inviting ambiance with cooking and a serving essentials, small decor items. Um, think about this November and December, this year's fascination with bright, cheerful colors. Um, with your kitchen, a seasonal spotlight on hosting and dining could increase demand for playful kitchen items from the past, including retro coffee makers, dinner plates, cheerful biscuit, biscuit jars. Um, think about some natural themes. So offer ideas for bringing nature in with botanical details, dried flowers, branches, um, driftwood sells really well on Etsy. Um, so it's kind of some things to think about for the home and living, um, category. Some other things that have also been trending in that category that's not in this presentation is, um, there was a 129% increase in wooden tea candle holder, wooden tea candle holder. Okay, so there was a 719% increase for electric home decor. So people are searching for electric home decor. Um, I was really shocked by this. There was a 108% increase in table napkin. Who would have thought? Table napkin is something that has seen a pretty big increase on Etsy. Um, something else that had an increase this year and continues to trend is mushroom decor. So the search containing the mushroom decor actually had a 68% increase. Um, antique decor had a 16% in increase. So there still is um, a really strong presence of buyers on Etsy looking for antique decor. Okay, so if you sell something antique, using the keywords and phrase antique decor um, is still something that is good to use. It's still having a positive increase. Okay, so let's talk about style. Um, whether your shop is hosting or attending, the gathering is big or small, the event is in person or virtual, buyers are still looking to glamorize this party season. So we have seen a 193% increase for black satin dress. Um, here we go again. The word emerald green is trending. Emerald green velvet dress had an increase velvet jumpsuit and preppy pajamas had a 1,112% increase for preppy pajamas. So if you sell pajamas and you're not using the keywords preppy pajamas, I sure hope you're going to go add that keyword and phrase to your title and your tags because it had a thousand percent increase. Just craziness. Um, also within Styled, um, there was a 70% increase in emerald green necklace. Brooch Vintage had a 78% increase. Um, there was a slight increase of 15% for engagement ring. Usually that trends a lot higher. Um, but it's starting to get back there. Um, something else that had a small increase was embroider hoodie. Had a 19% increase. Embroider hoodie. Okay. Kind of cool. So if you sell some stylish items, think about glitz and glam, sequins, 
um, shimmery fabrics like sat and set the stage. Still stuff that stuff is still trending. Going bold with bright colors. Here we go again. It's all about the bright colors. Um, rich, rich textures, velvet, um, including crushed varieties, cashmere, Chanel, sensual satins, all stuff that's still trending and doing well. Pajama party. Um, there's always going to be a place in the season for comfort wear. Okay, even after years of living in our sweats, shoppers aren't willing to part with that leisure wear. Okay, it's still something that's trending. Gifting items. So a lot of your listings can fall under gifting. Right? It's no secret that Etsy is the destination for thoughtful, can't find anywhere else gifts, the gifting themes in the following slide reflects, reflects how shoppers trend to search the site. Um, modern candle, 336% um, increase. Candles always do well. But the phrase modern candle has been increasing. Um, large statement necklace, 27% increase. Care gift box. Board games, okay. all trending. Um, under the gifting, there was also a 50% increase thus far for the phrase goal worksheet. Goal worksheet has seen a 50% increase. Okay, so if you sell something related to that, make sure you're using that your title and your tag. For gifting, think about gifts that are good for the home um, as parties and things ramp up. Um, think about fashionable finds, offer everyday necklaces and earrings as like kind of a gift set. So make a set with your necklace, matching earrings or bracelet, okay, as a gift box and a gift set. Wellness kits do really well. Um, gifts for keeping entertained, craft sets um, remain key as people perfect their pandemic ho hobbies and explore new art forms. Um, this is where I fall in is those craft sets um, and they, they do really well. All crafty things do well at holiday times. People are looking for craft kits for their kids, for themselves, for their, um, I have a lot of husbands that will buy um, my kits for their wives, okay? Um, gifts by recipients. Consider the following popular recipient categories when designing your products and titling and tagging your listings. So right here, it tells you the most popular phrases. Gifts for her gifts for him, gifts for kids, gifts for pets, gifts for hosts. Those are really popular. When pricing your items, consider the following categories. So this is how Etsy breaks it down. They say to use gift under 30, gift under 50, gift under 100. Because soon on the Etsy homepage, when a buyer comes to Etsy, they're soon going to be able to shop by pricing category. So Etsy's going to have where a shopper can go, oh, okay, I want to search for anything that's gift under 30. And then Etsy's going to bring all those listings to kind of together to showcase because maybe somebody has no idea what they're looking for. So you want to make sure you're using that tag and using that in your title so your item gets looped in okay, to those highlights. Passion plays. Many shoppers search by recipient interest. I love these. So gifts for wine lovers, gift for coffee addicts, gifts for techies, gifts for people who love getting cozy at home. Um, I use these, I'll use gift for plant lovers, 
gift for a succulent lover. Okay, so think too, how does your item fit for one of those types of little interests? Okay, so it's thinking about who they're shopping for, who that is recipient when you're coming up with your titles and your tags. Okay. Um, also, under the wellness kits, some other things to think about. Um, think about kids and pets. So if you have items that you're selling for kids or for pets, think about putting together like a little kit. People love shopping for kids and pets. Oh my gosh. Okay, so put together a little kit. Um, so I did mention that puzzles, um, the name of puzzles is something that's a bestseller right now on Etsy, but even puzzles for all ages um, is still something that's trending. Um, oh, one thing that is um, was on the, the report that Etsy didn't put in this presentation, there has been a 43% increase for football dad gift. So there's a 43% increase of people typing in the search football dad gift. So if you have something that can relate to a football type of dad out there, make sure you're using football dad gift as a tag. We'll plug it into your title. Okay. Um, all of those little phrases, especially around for um, husbands, boyfriends, um, men, um, those are really good to use because people come to Etsy looking for those unique gifts because it's so hard to search and buy sometimes, um, you know, gifts for um, your husband your um, son, you know, whoever it is, it's uh, people do like going to Etsy looking for those trendy gifts. Okay. All right, let's talk about jewelry. I know we have a lot of um, sellers on here that um, will post sharing their jewelry shops. So we, this is what's trending, um, a 618% increase for satin choker. Satin choker. Okay. Um, floral signet ring has had a thousand two hundred and ninety eight percent increase, a forty six percent increase for cuff dangle, a three hundred and twenty four percent increase for clay bracelet, hundred seventy eight percent increase for pearl brooch pin. Um, some other things that have been trending as an increase not on this presentation is there has been a 142 percent increase for custom photo keychain 143 percent increase for crystal bead bracelet um etsy is anticipating a huge popularity of preppy items so they're saying they're anticipating an increase in ties, messenger bags, and backpacks. So if you have, if you sell ties, messenger bags, backpacks, make sure you're using um, the keyword preppy. It may be your title, put it in your tag. Um, they're seeing a, um, they're anticipating a really huge increase in that. Okay, let's keep going on um, by trends. Um, okay, so for jewelry, um, the choker, styles to watch for, including stacking pearls, three-dimensional flower elements, bring on the rings, focus remains on pearls and crystals, um, bold bracelets, statement pieces or sets designed for stacking okay. eclectic ear sets okay, are something that is trending anything that goes with creating a stack um, like an ear cuff drop earrings studs brooches um, they want you to consider selling in sets made for being worn together 
or explore sculpting brooches from recycled metals and other materials. Animal, consider how snakes, lizards, and more playful pet pups can inspire hardware, okay? like your bag handles, glasses frames, or shoe buckles. Repurposed relics, upcycled stones, metals, and charms from antique treasures appear in new contemporary forms and appeal to shoppers looking to shop more eco-friendly and purchasing items with repurchased materials. Okay. okay, so let's talk about craft supplies and tools. All right, this category um, has seen a high increase, 931% increase in crochet pattern boho. 931% craziness. 92% um, increase in black wax seal. 105% increase in cross stitch pattern bookmark a 37% increase in denim fabric yard. Okay. Along with the crafting supplies, think about um, all that knitting, crochet, textual art forms, um, punch needle. Those things are all doing really well. They make great Christmas gifts. Have that stuff ready to go. Um, paper party. We're seeing an interest in DIY stationary kits that feature stamps and wax seals. Okay, so if you have stationary kits, consider putting those, um, offering some stamps and some wax seals. Vintage gems, an increase in vintage show, sewing patterns, as long and often available as digital downloads. So if you have digital, if you offer digital downloads, think about selling vintage sewing patterns. Okay, that is something that has increased. Appeal to beginners by offering projects that can be tackled in a single afternoon. DIY bookmarks, simple hand embroidery, um, simple things for kids to do. Um, anything to get kids off of screens, okay? All those craft sets do really well. Um, oh my gosh, those Play-Doh sets on Etsy do amazing um, because it's Play-Doh that comes with toys. It's getting kids off of those screens. Okay, it's engaging creativity. Um, let's see, hands-on home upgrades offer kits, plans, materials for updating rooms, denim DIY, um, offer used denim fabric kits and patterns. Huh, kind of cool. All right, let's talk about paper and party supplies. As the festive season welcomes paper and party goods, think about your greeting cards. Okay, it's time to go bold and offer some small items with big design. 1,962% increase in abstract marble art. Kind of cool. 14% increase in kindness card. 64% um, increase in forest birthday invitation. Here we go again. 89% increase in mushroom party. So that term and that keyword mushroom is something that's trending still, okay? And decor and party supplies and paper, kind of gifting cards. So think about um, some of these trends, explore filtered light effects as well as dynamic liquid light surface created with like a marbly wavy rippled graphics. Um, the Lux Industrial metallic touches elevate the ordinary while mixing the brush matte and high shine finishes. Grid graphics reminiscent of early computing and nostalgic 80s colors. This trend is prime for stationary and small paper goods. 
Words of encouragement, self-care, kindness, gentle optimism, okay, all still trending. Homegrown varieties, natural wonders, okay, botanical fungi, plaid, charming cottages, a folksy deer, all stuff that's trending. So this really goes um, along to if you create digital downloads, um, you know, this kind of tells you what kind of items and, you know, things are that are trending. Okay. Hi, right, weddings. Um, we'll still touch on the wedding um, season, even though, you know, um, some people think that wedding purchases and orders are slower this time of the year. They still um, trend. You're going to see a lot of engagements, you know, happen over the holidays. So you're going to see it still. Um, there has been a 7,000% increase in wedding song lyric gift. 568% increase in bridal bouquet cassette. Gateful wedding invitation has seen 122% increase. Printable table numbers. Okay, 557% increase for all you digital sellers out there. Printable table numbers right, is having a good increase. Let's bring that wedding season back. Um, autumn romance, Chanel, the drama of the season, which rich hues and some sultry metallics. Um, texture, incorporate rough natural elements to contrast slicker surfaces. Keepsake boxes designed to preserve items like bouquets. Um, custom tokens, sculptural flowers, gateful wedding invitations, DIY details, offer practical solutions for brides and grooms looking to tie the knot on a budget, travel inspired events, okay, beachy, tropical decor, um, still all trending this year. Vintage. Um, okay, the vintage category. Vintage demand continues to grow as shoppers look to make more sustainable choices. Um, so there has been a 200% increase in console table vintage, a 230% increase in mid century modern lamp, 680% crop top Y2K. Um, a 71% increase in napkin holders vintage. Kind of cool. Some other trends um, related to furniture. Um, custom mix can be a source of pride with vintage pieces offering uniqueness and potential for creative self-expression. Okay, cur curating like original pieces. Mid-century remix, inspire shoppers with an eclectic taste to mix and match with other era by photographing alongside items of different time periods. 70s, woo, um, a 90s and a Y2K fashion. Look to grunge styles, baby tees, hoodies, sunglasses. Um, tabletop and hosting essentials. As gatherings multiply through the season, shoppers can take pride in crafting warm, welcoming tablescapes for their guests. Brooches, um, old, school, old school flavor, and then pre-owned denim. So you can kind of see a little bit of, you know, repetition in some of these trends through different categories. Um, you know, even for me, I just like to know what's kind of trending um, and how I can then change up my shop or change up my inventory to match coming trends. Um, so I always, you know, will tell sellers, be very cautious and be aware of what is trending and what's going to continue to trend. 
if you are selling an item that's no longer trending anymore, it's time to think about how can you create something new? How can you change up your listings? So that way your shop stays relevant. Okay. You constantly have to think about creating new products, new ideas. Um, you know, every year I kind of try to list a couple new things. I don't have anything in my shop that I had from 2016 when I opened it. Everything is constantly changing, revamping. I've got to keep up with the times and the trends because otherwise then, you know, my shop's not going to be my full-time business anymore. And that's not, I can't have that happen. So you, even if you're listening to all this and your items don't fall into all of these certain categories, it's good to know what is going to be trending and what is coming and how can that be a part of what your shop, how it's going to grow and change. Okay. All right. So tips for a successful holiday season introduce giftable items early and keep them on hand through cyber week and december december to capture early peak and last minute shoppers offer personalization options stock early to allow time for customization cater to a wide range of gift recipients including shoppers who may be self-gifting how can you tweak your items or listings to appeal to additional ages or genders? During last year's Etsy cyber event, listings on sale sold at a higher rate than those that were not on sale. Keep an eye out for more information on how to take apart in Etsy sale events. Okay, so listings that were on sale sold at a higher rate than those that were not. If you're, we're all kind so, um, you know, we've all kind of gone through a really crazy year with inflation. Supplies cost a lot more money for all of us. Sometimes even getting supplies in stock is a nightmare. So think about your profit margin. I am never going to tell you to put something on sale to make less profit. You have to, at the end of the day, pay yourself enough money that you deserve to earn based on your time and your talent. Don't be afraid. I am going to start to increase my prices um, for the holiday season. And then I'll probably put them on a little bit of a discount and a sale. Okay. I still have, there's a certain dollar amount that I have to make in order to feed my family. Okay, so don't hurt. Um, I always tell people that, you know, nine times out of 10, when I look at some of your people's listings or shops that, you know, you're not charging enough. You know, you need to really, don't be afraid um, to charge enough for your talent and your time. Um, show off what makes your items giftable in your listing photographs. Capture gift wrap options. Appeal to those last minute shoppers with digital downloads, quick turnaround times, ready to dispatch items and fast dispatch. Keep up the Christmas momentum by getting a head start on what comes next. Consider post Christmas self gifting and nesting needs bios will shift focus to in January. Um, you, so you should have all, you should already have all your Christmas listings up loaded ready to go because here now after halloween people are going to start their holiday shopping so you should have all that done here probably in the next couple weeks i'm actually going to start listing all my january and february items so that means things for new year's things for valentine's day I'm going to start getting those stuff up now because come December, by end of December, I am wiped out and exhausted trying to just finish up getting out orders. I don't want to have to go in and then start listing all my January and all my February stuff. 
I'm just going to have it already done and ready to go because I, people will start favoriting and finding items. Maybe while they're in your shop looking for Christmas items. Oh, look, this is a really cool Valentine's present. Or oh, this is something really cool um, that I can use in January or March for a birthday that's coming up. I'm going to favorite it and save it and remind myself to go back and buy it then. So you always want to be thinking months in advance. It's kind of like now if, I mean, weeks ago, if you started going into Hobby Lobby, they had like Christmas stuff up already. It's just craziness. I know um, locally here, we've been having commercials for Black Friday deals already. And we're not even through Halloween yet. So always be thinking as far as ahead as you can. Get your items up, get things listed um, and ready to go. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, so here's our last slide. Here's a recap for you. And then I'm going to go to um, some of your questions. Um, things that we've already kind of said throughout the class. Get your items um, on, list, on Etsy now. Have them up there ready to go. Um, be on social media. Marketing your shop. Um, sharing it you know, coupons, sharing your Etsy shop, get, send people to your Etsy shop so they can favorite your shop and like things. Um, if you have a, um, if you, if you have a personal website and you have an Etsy shop and maybe you have something else too, um, I personally, um, I send everybody to Etsy because I like that the Etsy dashboard tell us statistics. So I can actually see how many shoppers are coming from Pinterest, how many coming on Facebook, how many coming from direct links that they clicked on a link that I shared in an email or something. So that's why I share Etsy because my personal website does not have any, I, it's horrible. I can't tell where people are coming from. Also, my personal website, you can't favorite something. You can't add it to your cart and then come back and go back to it later. But Etsy, you can. Okay, so think about that when you're promoting um, your items on social media. Where are you sending them to? Um, optimize your shop. If you have not attended... Um, the Etsy workshop called SEO, um, Etsy search or Google search. Um, that is a great workshop to attend. It talks all about the listing quality score. If you don't know what a listing quality score is, that's a great class to learn how to increase your shop so it has a good listing quality score so your items get found. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how your items get found um, and your keywords, your titles and your tags are so, so important. Photos and videos, super important. Um, we talked about trends. We talked about customer service. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, thank you so much to everybody who came today. Um, really appreciate you coming to my workshop. I hope you learned a lot. Um, I hope you're super excited and generated for this holiday season. Um, selling, if this is your first holiday, oh my gosh, be ready. It's so much fun. Um, every holiday is different. So, you know, every holiday you're going to see different things. I am going to now stop the recording and thank you all for coming. Um, I'm going to stay on though. So those of you that want to stay on, ask questions, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to try to get to your questions that have already been on the chat. So stay with me for one more second.